All right, welcome everybody to this uh, this this week in photo 2018 State of the Union. So what I wanted to do was uh, just record a quick video and live stream to have a conversation with you guys to give you some insight into where TWIP has been, where it is going, um, and where it is now, I guess. So. Uh, my name is Frederick Van Johnson. I'm the host of This Week in Photo, and I'm the guy that pulls some of the strings behind the scenes on the TWIP network. And uh, this is all about that stuff. So what I did was instead of, you know, just rambling on the camera forever and ever, I thought it would probably be best to uh, put together just a couple of little slides. I hate slides, but, uh, um, you know, it's the right tool for the right job. So I thought I would just run through this a little bit, uh, put some slides together and let you guys see what is on my mind in terms of where TWIP is, is going to go next. So uh, let me just bring that up here. Okay, so here we go. This is TWIP. So TWIP 2018, State of the Union. Just gonna run through a couple of slides here and then, uh, you know, then we'll be done. So basically what the deal is, is this week in photo, this version of this week in photo 2018 is comprised of three parts, not equal parts. So content, education, and community. So obviously content is gonna be king or queen and community and education take up equal quarters. So, and I'll go into what that means as we step through this presentation. But let's just dive in. So first thing here is, uh, oh, I'm clicking on the wrong thing there, um, is content. So obviously, This Week in Photo is a podcast, right? That's what we do. We create podcasts. And the, uh, the This Week in Photo podcast feed has moved. So just FYI, if you were subscribed to This Week in Photo in the past, it's probably best for you to make sure that you're subscribed to the correct feed. And that's easily linked to down below at thisweekinphoto.com slash subscribe. And all the links that I'm gonna mention in this presentation are in the description for this YouTube video. So you don't have to remember them, but I would head over there right now and just make sure you're subscribed to it. One of the other changes is as I'm doing this right now, This Week in Photo, as much as possible, the, the TWIP podcast and many of the other shows will be live streamed on this channel. So we're moving from a record it behind the scenes, polish it, and then upload sort of metaphor to uh, let's get on stage and do a live, a live performance. And the reason for that is so that we can do a live chat and live Q&A with the audience and be closer to the community. Google and YouTube have come a long, long way in the you know in the past right so in the in the past year that twip has not in the, been in on the air the tools the hardware and the software have matured to a point where it almost makes no sense for a lot of purposes to record edit and upload it's easier it's probably more economical to do perform the show instead of record the show that and then you know like i said it brings in the the audience and community interact action aspect of things with the chat and the q a and then speaking of the chat and the q a as i'll talk about in a couple seconds here the twip pro community is now live and you can get to that i'll, I'll show you the url in a second but it's at twippro.com that's where we go to source questions and photos for our Q and A segments, et cetera, et cetera. So, and I'll get into the reasons why I created or we created this this community off of Facebook for the the Twip audience. And once I explain it, I think it'll it'll make a lot of sense to you. So that's the first thing is the podcast. So make sure you subscribe. The feed has moved. Um, we're moving to live streaming, and uh, we're gonna. I wanna make sure that myself and the other hosts in the network are more engaged with the host rather than you know, it being kind of a television or terrestrial radio type implementation. This is the internet and you know, as such, we can interact. So the next thing is YouTube. So why, why are we uh, making a push towards YouTube? Well, we can 
create more content. We can do gear reviews. We have a, a show called Pocket Shooters that's been on the ice that's going to be back on the airways. Pocket Shooters is a it's a show where we kind of talk about iPhone and Android based photography, mobile phone photography, and review apps and talk about technique and all kinds of cool stuff. It's a gigantic world of content out there for folks that are that are shooting with their phones, which is pretty much everyone, but a lot of people are pushing it to the next level, especially over on Instagram. So the Pocket Shooter Show will address that audience and it will go out on the feed, um, as well as Twip Talks. The cool thing about Twip Talks, I want to talk about that a little bit, is that's the history, a little bit of the history of Twip Talks is way back in the day, I think it was like four or five years ago, I started doing interviews on This Week in Photo, and we were inserting them into the actual podcast, which made the thing ridiculously long, right? So in some cases, you know, the Twip show itself would be like an hour, and then the, the, the interview would be 30 or 40 minutes. So that's two hours. So that was a, that was a lot of expectation to uh, to put on an audience to stay engaged. So what I did was I broke it out and created a new podcast called Twip Talks, where people could subscribe to if they wanted to listen to the interviews. A lot of people didn't care about the interviews. They just wanted the show. And a lot of people didn't care about the show. They just wanted the interviews. So I split them out and made two. And, you know, inside baseball, that was the beginning of the, the network metaphor that we were working under. But with Twip Talks now, the cool thing that I can do with moving to this live metaphor is I can still record interviews because I love recording interviews and I hate, I, I don't necessarily hate putting interviewees on the spot and asking them questions, but it, doing it live, it's a little bit tricky and people get nervous and you know it, it ends up impacting the substance of the interview. When it's not live, you can edit out coughs and ums and uhs and oh, I said something stupid, you know, or the, the interviewee said something stupid, and I can pull that out and, and and then publish it. But with with going live on YouTube, I can record, I can go live just like I'm doing now. I can go live and then insert the interview into the live conversation. So, you know, say I'm, for example, what the first interview that's going to go live is with a friend of mine, Michael Rubin. So I can go live, talk about what the interview was about, you know, interact with the audience and then roll that interview and then come back on after and keep talking. So it gives me kind of the best of both worlds. I get to use my live streaming software and Final Cut Pro 10. So that's really the real thing because I wanted to use all my software. Um, but with that, the the MP3 file, the audio file from all of these shows, including Pocket Shooters, et cetera, will also be in the podcast feed. And a lot of you are wondering, is the podcast going away? No. This is the, the, it's being enhanced actually. So these will go out in the podcast as well. So you need to be subscribed to This Week in Photo as well as our YouTube channel. And with the with the uh, live streaming again, I can do the live chat and the Q and A on the Twip Talks episodes as well. So if you're not subscribed to Twip already, please make sure that you are you're subscribed. And when you subscribe, I know if you if you're on YouTube for any length of time, you hear these YouTubers always say you know, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell at the top. I want to explain that a little bit and why that's so important. So subscribing to a channel obviously means you're following that person or that channel or that content. But if you click that little bell on the page, you get notified when new content is coming up and when it's live, especially these live streams. And what that allows me to do, that bell is important because that allows me to uh, do impromptu content. Say, for example, throughout the week, I decide I wanted to go fly the drone and and tell you guys about my experiences with flying the drone and doing a particular kind of drone or UAV type photography. It's not on the schedule, but I want to do it anyway. And I want to show people I can live stream that and not have to worry about no one seeing it because it will alert all the people that have clicked that bell. So if you would, please click that bell when you subscribe to This Week in Photo. So that's the second thing, content, YouTube. Third thing is community. So Twip Pro, I'm so proud and happy about Twip Pro. We launched this thing and um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of under an under the cover view of what Twip Pro is. So if you're looking at that screenshot on the right, I took that a couple hours ago actually. And the community within Twip Pro is already growing. It's, it's a vibrant community. And you might say, well, why, Frederick, why didn't you just create a, 
a Facebook group or something like that? Well, the main reason is there's a lot of reasons, but uh, the metaphor that I was I was talking to some folks about a couple of days ago that I think fits the Twip Pro community is that of an airport, like an international airport. So you go into an international airport and, you know, if it's a modern airport, it's comfortable enough, it's clean, you know, you can get, get the job done, go hang out at the terminal if you can find a place to sit, all that. But e, there's also the airport lounges that you have to have jumped through a couple hoops in order to get through the door. And once you're in there, it's more comfortable. Everything is better. It's quieter. The seats are more comfortable. There's fast Wi-Fi. Sometimes there's drinks and food and all that. So that's the metaphor. If Facebook is that international airport, SFO, you know, LaGuardia, O'Hare, whatever. That's Facebook. Twip Pro is the airport lounge within there. And let's call it a, you know, Virgin. When Virgin was around, the Virgin lounge. It's it, That's what I'm going for in terms of having more focused conversations within the community. We'll have photo critique. Um, that's where we'll source the questions that we answer live on the podcast itself. So go there if you want to leave us a question. Uh, that's the tip line. Hopefully, if all goes well, that's where people will go to uh, chat with us and uh, give us information about the things that they want to hear about on the show and give us tips of things that we may not have heard about, which is probably 99.9% .9 of the stuff that's happening in the photography world. So it, it gives us a chance to be less myopic about the topics that we cover and be more engaged and, and cover the things that people want to hear. And then guest suggestions as well in there. So guest suggestions for people that you want us to interview either on Twip Talks or bring on the show as co-hosts or whatever. That's that's where all that'll come from. And then also be like I was talking about the uh, impromptu sort of streaming sessions. We're going to be recording those from time to time as well. And those will manifest as photo critiques. So and where will we get those photos from? And that's it's all going to come from the Twit Pro community. So it it's the Twit Pro community serves a, a lot of purposes, all the ones I just listed. But there's a fee to participate in the Twit Pro community. It's seventy five dollars a month. No, I'm kidding. It's four dollars and ninety nine cents a month to participate in the community. And that and I gave that a lot of thought. You know, there, there's some other folks that have done some really cool communities. Uh, like this and charge they charge a lot of money for them. I and I was thinking, hey, you know, why not charge a lot? And you know, a a big number multiplied by a little number equals a bigger number, right? But that's not the purpose of the community. The purpose of the community is everything I just said. And the reason that there's a small stipend on top of the entry fee to get in there is to A, go towards helping keep the lights on at TWIP and reduce our reliance on advertising, which makes for better shows. And it just, you know, gets better and better after that. But it, not that we're going to forego advertising. It's just I want to have fewer advertisers on the show uh, or on any of the shows. Um, and then secondly, the the addition of a fee to to get into something, especially an online community where people are expressing expressing opinions and that sort of thing, it is a little fee on top of that reduces the troll quotient exponentially, right? So if people have to pay a little bit of money to get in, they are more less likely to act up when they're inside. So, and that, that's the reason. That was one of the learnings I learned from, from, uh, from our meetup group, which is uh, what I'm gonna talk about next. But anyway, uh, please head over. Oh, on the Twip, the Twip Pro community, like I said, it's $4.99 a month, but it's free for the first two weeks. So you could get in there, sign up, get in there. If you don't like it, just cancel. You know, it's easy. It's one one button to cancel. But if you like it, stay in and support TWIP, help keep TWIP on the air and help us keep making better stuff and making the show better. So that's that's what the, the community is for. It's kind of um, a it serves several purposes, all the things I just listed, as well as kind of a Patreon, you know, donate or become patrons of the show. But on the flip side of it, you're getting a whole lot of it out of it as well. So that's the uh, that's the purpose of Twip Pro, and then also the last thing under community is Meetup. So we have a vibrant Meetup group. I started it down in San Jose, California, where I used to live. I've since relocated to Sacramento, California, and that's where the group is 
going to be now. I haven't had any meetup groups up here yet because I literally just got here a couple months ago, but uh, those are starting up. The, the meetup group is about 1,400 photographers strong, and those are South Bay Silicon Valley photographers, and I anticipate that number growing fast once we start doing meetups here in the Sacramento area. But the cool thing is you don't have to be in Sacramento, California in order to participate in the TWIP meetup group because we'll be doing on and offline events. The online events will be, um, you know, sort of things like this, uh, webinars and training sessions and those sorts of things. But the offline events will be photo walks and we'll just be meeting up at coffee places and or someplace to have drinks, to talk photography, those sorts of informal events, plus some formal events where we sort of rent out lecture halls or you know spaces where we can speak to large groups of people and bring in speakers and do that sort of thing. So it costs nothing to sign up for the meetup group. I would definitely do that if I were you, just get in there and, and stay plugged into the world of this week in photo. It's gonna be fun, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And you can head over to Twip Pro slash or twip.pro slash meetups and that'll redirect you over to the meetup page or you can just search for this week in photo on meetup.com and you'll find us over there and then the last thing here is education so the twip school is an initiative i started about two years ago and i'm really really excited about this piece of it because this is the third piece in the pie and it kind of sews it all up together and the the thought behind the TWIP school when I launched it was we'll have this sort of suite of hosts hosting shows on This Week in Photo, and then those hosts will create free and paid courses that go in the school. Therefore, the people that listen to their shows will can continue their learning in the TWIP school. It kind of worked out a little bit like that, but it's, it, it's actually evolving more into just a straight up learning area that's kind of like the twip pro community where it's just a focus these are sort of high-end courses long-form video courses where you can come in and and purchase them a la carte or grab a free one and dive in there's some really good free courses in here in fact one is by my friend mr craig colvin um uh the human form actually that one's not free but the concert photography course by steve brazel who hosts the behind the shots show on the twip network that one is all about concert photography taught by a world-class concert photographer so and it's free all you gotta do is go in there and grab it so i would head over to that and jump in and and enjoy it and then come over to the twip community and chat with steve and ask him advice about what camera should i get and well you know how do you handle low light situations and all that cool, that cool stuff but that's at uh, twipschool.com so that's the suite of things that comprise TWIP 2018. There's the podcast or the podcasts, you know, so we've got This Week in Photo, we've got Behind the Shot, TWIP Glam is coming uh, coming out of hiatus, I think next month. We've got Pocket Shooters, which is launching all about mobile phone photography, TWIP, it goes on and on, right? So it's, it's and all the, all the podcasts are and always will be 100% free. And then YouTube, so the addition of YouTube live streaming, because the infrastructure is so robust and so good now, and the tools are so good, we can crush it on YouTube now by making the transition over there, and then continuing the conversation from the content side of the house and the community side of the house with TWIP Pro and the meetup groups. So on and offline conversations, just so that we can make sure that we touch as many people as we possibly can with you know with the the message of inspiration education and entertainment for photography and then lastly there is the twip pro uh or the twip school which you'll see over the next year there'll be several courses that that pop in there probably on a a monthly maybe two a month basis there'll be new courses that pop up in there right now it's a la carte so you can buy one course at a time or not, or buy, you know, sub sign up for a free course and grab that. Once there's a critical mass of courses in there, it'll probably make sense for us to turn on subscription in there. And so that you could pay a fee and get access to everything. But I don't see that happening for, you know, at least a year plus 
but right now you can get in there, have at it and have fun in there. So that's that's it. That's TWIP 2018. So I've been getting questions every day almost from folks. And it really makes me feel good to get questions from people about This Week in Photo and where it's been and all that stuff. You know, it doesn't bug me at all. It's just it's great to know that people care about the podcast and want it to continue. And I want it to continue. So I'm I'm thankful and happy for all you folks that have been patient in waiting for us to come back. But the good news is we are back now. So head over to thisweekinphoto.com and you can uh, you'll you'll see all the shows that we have. You can check out the community. You can do all that cool stuff. But I would I would get in the community quick because the the cool thing about the um, the two week trial is I set that up because this is a brand new community. I want to encourage people to get in there and start building critical mass. There's two things that'll probably happen in the future, though. The that two week sort of free trial piece will go away, and then it'll just be you know you want to sign up, give us your five bucks, you're in, whatever. Uh, but then also the doors for the school or for the the community will close at a certain number because i don't want the twip pro community to ever become like an airport it needs to remain intimate so we'll shut it down we'll shut down registrations and it'll be sort of a waiting list sort of thing where when someone cancels we'll let someone else we'll let someone else in so get in there try it out if you like it stay in there if not don't worry about it or don't complain later so that's it. Um, uh, I hope I answered most of your questions. I'm not going to do a live chat on this particular stream, but on all subsequent streams, we'll be doing live chats. And, and I'll have the chat window up on the screen where you guys can see it and see the questions and interact with me and the other hosts and all that cool stuff. So that's it. Thank you so much for being a part of TWIP. Thanks for tuning in. I can't believe it. There's 52 viewers in here right now checking it out. That's uh, that's that's really cool. So anyway, my sincerest thank you for all you folks that have hung in there and that are fans of This Week in Photo. And please subscribe to everything. You know, all the links that you need are in the body for this video. And uh, and in the email, if you're on the Twip This Week in Photo email list, you've already have the links because those are in that email as well. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot, guys. I will see you in the next broadcast, which is probably going to be in the next day or so. All right, you know what I'm going to say, right? It's time to take that lens cap off.